When I spit bars in a rave, man, I go hard like Santan. Yes, if if um, Doherty does come in, three signings, um, is that business done? Like, where else do we need to? No, bro. No, 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 bro. No, no. I'm not having this, man. We need a second striker. Don't, don't do this, man. Oh, come on, Aaron, man. You know we need a second striker, man. Like, like to be honest, to be honest with you, um, like, I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm kind of happy because I like what Don Levy is doing, innit? He's working on the low. He's getting the things that we need. Because before, I know people might have been like, oh, we spent big money on big names and maybe it hasn't worked out. And actually now with Mourinho, he's probably saying, I want this type of guy, I want that guy. And I just want you to just do the, the, do the dirty work for me. Get this guy, get what I need. And then I'll come back to you with the next thing. So at the moment, it looks at the moment that Don Levy is getting everything done. We needed a DM or someone who's happy to play a defensive role as a midfielder. We got Hoiberg in. We needed, we needed a decent third striker, someone that also increased the homegrown. We got Hart in. Obviously now, with Aurier in that situation at the right back, we're now getting Doherty. To be honest with you, that's decent. It's not, it's not like world, blind, it's not world binding, world changing, but yeah. we are starting to get squares in square pegs. And that's what I'm happy about. Mm. But we also need to make sure that we get the players that we need because with us sending Parrot out and us having just Mora and Son as potential forward replacements or inside forwards, I feel like it's important with the games that we're going to have that our next priority has to be a backup striker. I know we've spoken about it a lot, but if he gives me a backup striker and obviously we were potentially going to talk about a next man that might be coming... <laughs> then, <laughs> then yeah, I'm gonna be happy. But for now, I'm like, I'm like, you know, I'm teetering, but I'm not gonna be like, I'm not gonna be smiling until I see that backup striker. All right. So, like you said, we spoke about a backup striker definitely like a few weeks in a row. But what about like if a striker comes in that can actually push and compete with him? Like the um, people are saying, Luis Suarez is available on a three. Is that something we should definitely be like throwing our hat in the ring for? It? Hundred percent comes down on seeing him. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Like this, listen, what a man is like off the pitch. That's his business. That's his business. And yo, I know what we say about Suarez. He's racist. He's this. He's that. He's X, Y, and Z. That's him. Suarez, the man. I don't have not. I don't really have much respect for him. But Suarez, the footballer, I have. Bags and bags and bags and bags of respect for him. And he is still, even in his current state, even in his declining state, he is still better than a lot of strikers in world. So I'm realistic. I'm not saying that we're going to sign him, but I think we'd be stupid if he is available on a free. I don't know if that's the case. If, he, if they are going to terminate his contract and he does become available on a free transfer, quotation marks, it would be silly for us to not make a move for him. It would be absolutely stupid to not make a move for him because he is comfortably better than any striker that we've probably targeted or we could target to, to, to play that number two role behind Harry Kane. Easily. <laughs> Easily. 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 I'm gonna saying agree and disagree. I want him. I want him. Bring that racist pig to the lake. I want him. I said it. I said it. I feel sick. I feel sick. I uh, said it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I said it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I said it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said it. Sorry, ever, ever, ever. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I need him at the lane. I need him. Do you know what? No, it would mash up the way he's trying to with Oh, it would mash it, it would up. Mash it up. A lot, a lot sooner than we would anticipate spending that sort of money. Yeah, I think. Yeah, very vexed, very vexed. And I think that puts a lot of pressure on Mourinho to start either paying people or dipping people out, because because Suarez ain't coming for any less than a quarter mil a week, surely. How do you guys think that Kane would react to Suarez coming? I think he'd welcome it. Yeah, that would that would drive him. Listen, listen, no, Kane's a type that that would drive him. That would drive him. It wouldn't, it wouldn't matter to him, I'm, I promise you. Kane would be like, cool. Someone yeah. just like me, ready to take my spot? Cool, cool. See, see. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Trust. Trust. Hey, who's better, Prime Kane or Prime Suarez? 
What? Prank Are you crazy? Oh. Prank Torres. Oh, come on, man. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's no, a techie one. Turn it's it's, it's turn a techie one. It's not a techie one, lads. It's, it's not a techie one. What kind of question? No, it is not techie. It's not techie. Are you going to see that Suarez was playing in? Ooh, you, mean Liverpool. Like you mean Liverpool? You mean Liverpool? Liverpool, Liverpool. Liverpool. Bad boy Liverpool team. It wasn't a bad boy Liverpool team. Let's no, it was. Let's not do that. It was. Let's it was, that. It, it, was, it, it was that team was playing with a declining Gerard, Joe <laughs> Allen, Ali Sissoko. But their man had like a Sterling on form. Sterling on form. They're on form, Sterling. They're Sterling when he first passed on the scene. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was electric. The attack, the attack was functional, but look at the midfield and the defence. You can't tell me that that was a star study. <laughs> Gerard. Gerard controlling it. Gerard's, Gerard's, Gerard's a legend, bro. Yeah, Gerard is Let's not lie. Let's not lie. No, no, I'm not saying he's not. I love Gerard. Gerard's my, Gerard's my, probably arguably my favourite, like, English midfielder. But um, what I'm saying is, I don't think you can say that Luis Suarez was working with a talented squad back then because he wasn't. I think that's, I think that's not true at all. If you look at the squad man for man, that was definitely not a good enough squad to be challenging for the title. And yet they were challenging for the title. Do so you know what? It's not a debate. What? It's not a debate. Like, I, 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 love, I love Kane. But, bro, it's 100% yes. Luis Suarez. Like, when I tell you, yeah, that season, like, so my brother, he's a Liverpool fan. The way this boy used to bang to me about this guy's stats, like, I think there was a season where he played 33 games and scored 31 goals. He, it was quite easily one of the best individual seasons someone's ever played in the Premier League. I mean, like, it's easy when you score 10 goals against Norwich per season. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, but Tyler, Tyler, forget, forget that. Forget that. It's Luis Suarez, <laughs> is the only, he's the only player, to, he's, only, he's the only player in the last, what, like 10 years or something like that, to outscore, well, I think Lewandowski's going to do it this season. Let me not lie, but... Prior to that, he was the only player to outscore um, Ronaldo or Messi in the last decade. He scored something like 60 goals in one season for Kane Barcelona. Came down there in 2017, bro. Huh? Came down there in 2017. 60 goals in one season? Come oh, on, you're he, having a laugh. Uh, he, he outscored Messi and Ronaldo. Kane, Kane okay. scored like 50-something in a calendar year. I'm talking about a season. Luis okay, Suarez scored like 60 goals in a season. There's no competition here. And I think yeah, there's yeah. no shame in us admitting the truth, which is that Luis Suarez, in my opinion... His, was the is the best striker of of the decade, the previous decade just gone, and he, bro, he's been at Barcelona for like four for like five years, and he's already like their fourth all time goal scorer. Third, third, I think it's not a competition. Scorer, like, yeah. Third now, like, so it's not a competition here. Okay, wait, Kane Tyler, is playing with a god. Why is Tyler not having him? <laughs> yeah, sp speak on it. Speak on it. Speak on it. No, yeah, he's obviously a good player in it, and he he'll, he'll bag fifteen to twenty goals all comes. Come, I cannot separate the man from the player. I just can't. I can't sit there on my sofa and jump up and cheer when Suarez scores a goal when he's an absolute cunt. I just can't do it. I don't know about you guys. I support Tottenham. Like, I, I love the players and I get so invested in the boys. I can't have a guy that I despise playing uh, for my uh, team. Uh, let me tell you something, yeah. If John Terry is still doing his thing, <laughs> but he's if John he's Terry doing, and, and you, to be fair, that's them man's fan base. Fair yeah. enough. But as a as a country, it's still respecting John Terry. Yeah, that's number Honestly. one. If I can listen to Chris Brown and I'm still feeling Rihanna at the same time, <laughs> Louis, Louis, come through. Louis Suarez, come through. Come through. I'll drive you myself, man. Come through, bro. Because <laughs> I know for a fact, Tyler, Tyler's in the club. He's whining with his ting to Chris Brown. I know he's singing the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> he's singing the lyrics. And now he's trying to tell me, he's trying to come at me with this new Suarez stuff. You ain't bro, <laughs> talking about this when Suarez is slapping in them goals top bins. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Suarez, listen to me, bro. Suarez is 100% pamming goals in. Whatever team he plays for in the Prem. Yeah, 100. If he's coming, he is pamming yeah, them scoring. goals in. And to be honest with you, if someone like that, even at that age, pamming goals, third most school, Third most goals for Barcelona. Yeah, his, his drop off has been a little bit, but someone who's going to be pushing Kane to be the better, better player than he is. And when he knows that he ain't going to be the starter, trying to come in and, and pam goals in the Prem, which he already has done. Like, I think his best season ever 31 goals in 33 games and something like 17 or 18 assists. Do you know, what, bro, that means in a season, in one season, he was involved in nearly 50 goals, bro. Like, listen, this guy needs to roll. If we can get him, come through.
It's a big. That's what I'm saying. It's a big. Well, it's a big I, I literally sat in it like to try to feel my agenda, and it just backfired. Didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know when I watched it. When I watched it, he just he just looked dead. Like he looked fat. He looked like he couldn't run anymore. So I was like, cool. Let me check these stats. I have I have a bit of, a bit of energy. Man scored over 20 goals as well. The thing with Bar is, like, the, apart from Messi, the Barca team is trash. It is. And and the goals. But the yeah, thing I was, is, I was, I was looking up his stats just now, trying to ridicule him, but <laughs> 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 I can't lie, he still put on saying. numbers. You can say he's declining. Like him, I can't confirm or deny if I like him at this point. <laughs> <laughs> hey, teacher, teacher, talk on it, bro. Come on, talk Sorry. on it, man. I can't, I can't confirm or deny it, bro. That's what, what, what can I say, bro? <laughs> all I'm saying, all, hear me out. All I'm saying is that, like, yo, he's declining. We all know he's declining. He can't play like 50 games a season anymore. He has some, he, he's good for maybe like a one or two month layoff with, it, with it, that sort of like knee injury that he normally gets. But, bruv, the guy, the class is permanent. And if you can squeeze, let's say, maybe 30 to 35 games or even more from this guy, either off the bench as a starter, you're going to see the quality show. And he, he can play with Kane. He can play instead of Kane. Bruv, he'd be perfect. The only issue is I don't think he'd want to come to Spurs because I genuinely believe if his contract is terminated, he will have much better offers than than, than we would be able to we'd be able to give him. And that actually know. brings me on to my other point as well because one of my friends was messaging me. When I spit bars in a rave, man, I go hard like Santan.